to some of those back lines on. Well, give them a Bomba pick. Contest the Lancelot. Maybe there's a lot of things that they can adjust from as we get ready for the draft. Game number two, once again, first game going to the hands of Sia Soon very decisively with a statement as we jump into the draft. We'll take a look at what the bands are going to be coming through already. See the Nolan taking out the Joy as well on the other side. Things fall in place. Lancelot finally also going to be taken out. Won't be contested. Angela, we saw so many great things from Sia Soon's Angela in play. And the response so far, the Nolan the Ferrum is taken out. Oh, respect. That's how you know you played the hell of a Lancelot game. It gets banned in the next one. So now there's still some assassins on, up on the board for See You Soon. It's been a long while, but <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> also respect on the side of See You Soon. See You Soon and MP the King, they have a mage build Karina option for MP the King. But that's like if they're really feeling feeling in the zone, yeah. you know, and they're Excuse feeling creative, me, so oh. up against uh, Guinevere might be quite tough, so they, they as vote, they go ahead and pick up a strong one there. Uh, that Let's see if they are going to be considering the Martyrs, because I know the Martyrs does relatively well up against the Guinevere jungle because of his uh, crowd control uh, immunity that he has. Yep. Bruno again, maybe. They locked it in yeah. first pick last time. I think it's solid. I mean, Bruno's always solid. It doesn't really matter what draft he's on. He's just always going to unload the damage. Yeah. Mr. Consistent, basically, at this point. Yeah. Like, for the for the gold lane, it's Bruno. Yeah. I, think I would say secondly, it's probably Brody. Brody or Claude? Yeah. Bruno, throw, Brody, Claude, yeah. yeah. It's like they're, they're like Bruno, the Brody, trinity Claude. now. <laughs> yeah. Bruno, Brody, Claude. Bruno, the BBB. Brody, and oh, no, the Claude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. Yep, there's the 1-1, one, one, though. It's I neither. So 1-1 one, one comes through. The other, Valentina. the other... Broody, bro Broody, Brody, Wan Wan. Yeah, I just want to shout out a clock <laughs> yep. from, uh, from Miracle, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, we miss you, man. We miss uh, you, man. Wan Wan and Valentina. So they go for the route of, okay, one of the strongest utility mages alongside, well, one of the best marksmen in terms of laning, actually. And at the same time, now Deus will have to pick up something that uh, takes something out of the Wan Wan, forces out the needles and flowers, forces them to use a utility spell. Honestly, Deus Vault, if they want to, I would not knock them for picking up a Khalid now. We've seen Khalid as a pick up a, against the 1-1. One -one. Those quick early slashes we force her to panic. See. And I think that would also match Kid Bamba's style, right? Yeah. It also matches his being able to dive into the back line. I think just those are the EXP laners that have been doing so well, like the Khalid, the Lapu, the yeah. Terizla. Those EXP laners that can get aggressive and get to the back line. You don't want something that's just going to sit up front yeah. and just kind of be a walking, you know, a walking turret at some point. You yeah. know, uh, yeah. you need something that can actually move and that can cause disruption. Uh, not only that too, but the, this is something we don't see too often. I feel like when that that Minotaur actually goes through in the first phase, right? Typically, it's either banned out. Sometimes it gets picked up um, in the second phase. But the fact that now Devu went this way. They lock that in, they get a good goal lane and option. The Guinevere is kind of, I would say in teams, like for teams, Guinevere is kind of hit or miss, right? This was the Martis you picked up earlier, that you mentioned earlier, Renmar. Plays really well into the Guinevere for the most part, and then it becomes, of course, that timing matchup, that skill matchup between the two. All right. Uh, see you soon. Interestingly enough, the actually, with the Diggy banned out, Novari getting taken out as well. This would might even consider taking out a Tigru. Because uh, it would slot in really well for the lineup of CU soon. Uh, if they had a Tig, Martis, Wan Wan, Valentina, uh, those mesh really well together. Lilia is still open for the side of Devu if they want to try to run that. Mm -hmm. Couple options still there, definitely. I don't know. Have we seen Sunset Lover on the Lilia really? I'm I trying to recall. Light I don't well. know if it's been a huge pick for him. We might have saw them when they went up against Onik. He might have played it then. Yeah, we have seen it played by Sunset, Sunset Lover. Not really an iconic. Uh, here, but it's an, it is an option for him. He has it. My only concern, too, as we get through the second phase here, is the fact that Valentina's across from you, you know, and you're trying to play around the Minuian Fury, but if you have some yourself to work against, too, mm -hmm. CSU grabs it themselves, they play around it, and now you have that option. Also, the fact that Martis can play relatively safe against a lot of this card control, if if it is a see you soon Minoyan Fury, right, it makes it a lot easier to get that crossbow of Tang off as well yeah. and get that airtime. So still, they need to kind of round this out with those last two picks. But real quick, what do we think in the last ban? Uh, maybe the maybe they just keep going into the room. Ban out yeah. the Kufra. Ban out the Tig for me. Oh. Kufra, Tig. 
Honestly, I think Seizu could play the take. Ah, you, is. you got it. Oh, yeah. You got that one. Yeah. But hey, now that the Zig's gone, they can play the Kufro. Yeah. yeah it, help, it, help, it helps mess with the Guinevere a little bit. Those dashes, we've seen it picked up before in that nature. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, definitely a possibility. Yeah, it looks good. Uh, healing? Nah, healing's not going to mesh well here. It has to be something like tank your front line. Classic uh, boxy playmaking that we've seen. Trying to see if they actually have room for a Cho if they I was want say, to. Maybe the Cho. Yeah, Cho Mardis. Go for it. Land. Oh, they and take the Lapu. So this could be the Rizla. Rizla. Give me the Riz. Rizla or the, the Kali. Bomba pick. Riz Lilia. I'm okay with that. Riz Lilia. Yeah. Well, sounds good. And especially if see you soon are thinking about uh, playing a uh, setup playmaking. There it there is. is. Great call there, Trex. There, there it is. There it is. Oh, oh. nice one, Trex. Come to the NA Wolf. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you my... did spend a lot of time in that chair, you know, <laughs> leading up to this point. So yeah, that's what happens, man. Oh. Trey Sarn Felix. Do you think they just pick up the uh, Kufra again? Kufra Cho, yeah. I think they could, yeah. Cho would be nice just because you get to Shumpo out of the... Uh, out of the Guinevere, if you need yeah. to. Like, like well, as long as you see it coming, you can easily dodge. Yeah. There it is. We're he getting is, it. We're on a roll. I don't know how many that is, but that you're on a roll. <laughs> that was that was really a, that was a Renmar. That was a Renmar. So both these lineups, how's it working? Because still, even with the Cho here, right? That, yes, you can avoid some of that Guinevere, but you're still trying to play around that way of the dragon, right? Trying to get these setups here from what we saw even last time. Now, in a similar fashion, how's this looking, Renmar? All right. Uh, interestingly enough, having a Martas and Cho together means that now see you soon can be. They're still the one setting the tempo here. Uh, however, Deus Vote wouldn't would not find themselves as behind as game number one because now they have they are playing with the Guinevere too as well. So again, we're gonna be focusing a lot on the Rome three, the Rome, the mid, and the jungle. Okay, Rome mid jungle, and seeing how it all unfolds once again, game one. Very decisive for Sia soon. Deus Vault has to readjust here as they get ready for the second game. We go into the land of Dawn. Can Deus Vault extend it to the one to one in this best of five with the tournament lives on the line? They have an interesting draft this time around. Kid Bomba on his signature pick as well as things get situated. Feeling like Magister could have a little bit of trouble here because just a lot of CU Soon's picks kind of answer that violent Requiem from being able to nullify CC with the King, the Shun Po from Boxy. Then on the side of Wan Wan, you also have a way out of that. So not a lot of targets. I feel like someone needs to, someone's going to be the baiter of the first skill, right? Someone yeah. needs to bait it out. And then in comes No One's Fury, in comes the penalty zone, something of that nature. But the only way they're really going to be able to get those hard lock CCs on is if they're layering. Yeah, and because the Cho presence means a Force Retreat out of the Guinevere, that's going to be a little bit behind. No contest of the Litho Wanderer. It seems like uh, both teams are just going to be giving it to the mid laner. So you soon takes it. And in terms of the emblems, nothing too crazy here. Although, yeah, uh, double boots for the mid and the Rome. We'll see you soon. They're, they're fast boys. Yeah. Fast boys, yeah. Fast boys. This is exactly what they're doing already. Oh, and MP the King gonna try to move in under the tower. They're locking on to Carvey. Carvey in a little bit of trouble. Ooh. MP the King finds it with the decimate. And they're gonna get some gold plating on top of that one. Down on the boss side, at least Kid Bombas having an okay lane. Man, that is tough already. You know, even before the two minute mark again, Sia Soon finds himself a, a little gold lead. Two kills on the board as well. All this before that first objective comes up flexing on them right now. And this is what we were talking about. But Deus Volt, they can mitigate the damage being caused by CU soon, but right now, uh, they can't give up any more situations like that. It seems like CU soon are coming into this really with a full understanding of how Deus Volt want to play across the map. This early on, that's a team who, that did their homework. I mean, Boxy. Oh, again. Oh. oh. A little bit of damage on to Boxy there. Up to major, but here comes Raw. Now they could be in trouble the way the Dragon Lock's on. The Terrify Sawo trying to get the knockout oh, back. No. Magister finds Boxy the King. Usei, though, with the crossbow of Tang ready to go. All he's got to do is click the is button he? and unload. There it is. Magister going to go down. He's going to move on to Sunset Lover. 
See you soon taking a strong lead in the first three minutes. And the response time from See you soon is on point. Not only did they get the objective, they got a kill as well. Then the bottom side, sorry, I'm Felix feeling very confident right now. Two kills on this Lapu Lapu. Yeah, Felix is just playing out of his mind right now. Again, we, we commended him in game number one. It's still very early on here. There's still a way for Davisville to climb back, not that dire. But again, the fact that he is doing this, again, showing why he's made it to the world stage, why he is a champion in Cambodia. We're seeing the shades of the MPL Cambodia Felix popping off now. He's sort of been a sleeping dragon, but now he's fully awakened. And Harvey having a little bit of trouble in this top side, and it's forcing Sabo to come up. See you soon, completely controlling the tempo right now. It feels like Deus Valo is pretty much just following their rotations around, just trying to defend. This is crazy because already, right, the gold lead, it kind of uh, surprisingly strong. Kid Bomba. Kid Bomba in a little bit of trouble. The Bravest Fighter does land on. Wow. Watching for the decimation. There it is. The King finds another kill. Wow, more gold. More kills here for See You Soon. That's also going to be a turret that is taken down now on the bottom side. Very quick here. And it's evenly dispersed, too, when you look at the gold. Wow, See You Soon. They are just, again, still in that state. Corrosion Scythe already first item on the 1-1. One, one. We did talk about this. 1-1 one, one, pretty much almost up against anyone in lane. The opponent of the Wan Wan's gonna struggle. That's how good she is. That's why she's become a highly rated pick, even though there are scenarios where it's so difficult to play her and why she is so prioritized. And I'll see you soon. Enchanted Talisman there up on Ra. They can just continue this, honestly. They're just bullying Deus Vod at this point. No other way to put it. You can't sugarcoat it. And just like they talked about in the panel, right now, Boxy is doing work as a vision getter. A lot of times on this show, he's just there to provide the information, right? Hey. There's multiple members of Devu here. You guys can go ahead and work around the map on the bottom side towards that turtle if you want to. And again, holding on to this Way of the Dragon, able to give the go signal when everybody's ready, is also what's tough to deal with. And even this. Oh, oh my god. This is becoming very bad for Magister. He's already got two deaths. He's losing buffs at this point. The only people on Deus Vault that are even relatively okay in gold right now have to be Sunset Lover and I guess Sawo for being a roam. Yep. Uh, 400 deficit compared to the Cho for the Minotaur, and then just roughly 300 for the Lilia. Yeah, it's a big struggle right now for Carvey. And again, see you soon. You we mentioned vision getting, the, so did the panel. Oh, oh big kick on a Magister. They're going to take him out with that one. Rob wow. picking up the kill. See you soon are decimating Deus Vault. Very similar once again to even what happened in the previous game. Now at this point, five and a half minutes in. 6k gold ahead. Look at the damage already, even on Sunset Lover. Has to use the black shoes. Still dealing with them in the mid lane. Kose, confident enough himself to be on that side of the jungle. Oh my god, not Carvey. Carvey having a little bit of trouble forced to block the Purify. Might not be able to get away. Kuse picks up the kill. Madister looking for something. Pops a Violent Requiem, but unable to connect. Kuse able to dance away very quickly. Sawo looking for the knockup on to Raw. Raw, Felix, and King. Hall just controlling the map. Oh wow, see you soon. An absolute clinic. The tempo set by Boxy the King, everyone just doing everything right. Again, this is just close to perfection performance by the champions of MPL Cambodia. I'm sure the Cambodians all over the world, Ooh. back home in Cambodia, so are just making a lot of noise right now. Yeah, they can't even catch anybody. See you soon is just all over the map. We talk about smothering, but this feels worse. Sunset Lover in a bad spot, gonna get cornered out here, pops the black shoes. Sorry, and Felix looks wow. for something in the back line. Luckily, Deuce Vault doesn't lose anybody there, but see you soon is relentless. Now they're gonna make their way to the turtle here. A lot already expended, even in that exchange of the mid lane. So another objective most likely gonna go in the hands here. I don't even think Magister wants to get close to this. Once again, when you're talking about this deficit in the economy here. Just kind of spread once again across the board here for Sia Soon. It's really tough to fight back at this point. It's better to give ahead this turtle and try to farm up as much as you can. Uh, so we can start talking about conditions, I feel like, in terms of how <laughs> Deus Volt can come back. It's one of those scenarios of just punish something that Sia Soon isn't able to do really well. Uh, the, in terms of priorities, if, 
of who you can punish. Number one, it's Boxy. After that, it's Felix. Maybe MP or Ra gets a little bit too close to get that. It's going to be a while until you can get a kill on to Kuse. Here's Ooh. Magister. There's a nice knock up on Ra. Should be able to get that kill. Carby able to pick it up. Now, Debu just wants to get away, but a big oh, wave. Wow. Dragon locks in. Long with the penalty zone. Kid Bomber to the backside. Sons of Lover picks up Whoa. King. But Magister falls. Kid Bomber looking for more here. Taking a little bit of damage yep. from Kuse. Kuse pops off. With the crossbow of Tang, nobody goes down Jose. to it though. Luckily, it's a four. For what? Oh! Deus Falk gets the wipeout right around the eight minute mark. You want to talk about conditions? There's one. Yep. It just just wipe them all out. Just wipe them all out. That's the one we didn't get to mention. It's like, you listed a kill list in terms of priority order, Reptar. We'll just get all of them. Deus Falk. But yeah, exactly. They were able to do that out of a see you soon initiation or a see you soon counter initiation. Again, it was Magister who checked that shrub, found Raw first, but then see you soon. We're just a little bit too out of position, a little bit too late. This will play that really well. Kid Bomba with a great penalty zone. Let's see if we can get away from the members of see you soon now. Great usage of the DPZ, the defensive penalty zone there, able to stay alive, keep yeah. them together. Again, they don't want to lose anybody at this point. They're doing great work around the map, macro style, right? They grabbed a couple turrets, they whittled down that gold lead that Siyosun had. It was nearly 7,000 at the seven minute mark. So yeah. they've done work, and this should actually allow them, as they get another wow. turret, great push here from Carvey, to go ahead and actually possibly contest this Lord. Is that, is that the right thinking here, Redmark? Yeah, great macro play here by Deus Vol to recover presence in the map. It's going to be a knockup. I also really want to commend Sawa for oh. what happened to the last Magister again. Magister gets the knockup once again onto the King. Kuse is there to unload. He knows he's got to back off. Magister going to start working on this Lord. Deus Vault have evened out the turrets as well. They've taken the mid one. They're going to have a little bit more rotation this side of See You Soon, but this Lord is what's really going to count. Look at See You Soon just hiding out in this mid brush, waiting for a moment to strike. Keep her eyes on Sunset Lover as well. I gotta bring some light to Sunset Lover. He's just been a monster. 2 0 3. He's gone almost deathless in the past two games. I think he died once last game, maybe twice. Just does such a great job in the laning yeah. phase. He's soon now Let's going to steal oh! play. Big kick on a Madison. Oh, oh, oh penalty what? zone for Kid Bomba. And beat the King, able to take out Madison. Boxing the King goes down to Kid Bomba. Sawo with the crossbow of Tang, but a double kill falls in the hands of MP the King. Sunset Lover picks it up, trying to save the day. Oh! Can he find more? 1v3. Sunset oh! Lover with the black shoes. A double kill. For the Sunset Lover. It's only Sunset. <laughs> but he did work. <laughs> sun's not down just yet. He's getting sunset. reload. He's getting reload. Lover boy looking for more. Can he take out Raw? Oh. No, he goes down. See you soon. Gets the wipe. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. He's not loving that. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, he did work. He did as much as that he could given the situation again. Madison's it was back a up great too. setup as well oh. from Boxy. So they're going to get in a position. They will be here in time for this Lord. Okay. Don't go for the reset just yet. Boxy. Can you find the Boxy the kick oh, again? No, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 good play with the Requiem. Try to get it, but it oh, the King Bomba. might just get pum punished. How did he get away? The King takes the Lord. See you soon. Are just coming out on top in these micro mechanics. Oh, they will look like they hesitated. I'm pretty sure they could have gotten the kill there, but well, well, it would have been risky. Let's just say, let's put it like that. Maybe it could have been risky. See you soon. They just decide to rush down the Lord and now they can defend. We still got a game in our hands here, folks. But right now, see you soon are in the lead and it's Boxy the King. Can he find another kick? Is the biggest question for see you soon because so far he's been the one making the biggest sequences for CSYS. Yeah, and as we uh, kind of get ready for this Lord to push in on the top side, Itemization wise, is it looking a little more even now? I know there's still quite a bit of a gap for Again? some of these. Uh oh. Not another kick. Terrify on a kid Bomba. Who say we get the crossbow tang? Airtime is right. Madness are gonna get melted down as well. See you soon. Looking for this mid-tier tower. The Lord still marching down the top side, coming soon. You know what I'm reminded of here right now? That clip of Hoon going, yeah we <laughs> But now it's now in my voice I hear Boxy. 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 He keeps finding those kicks, man. And he's making it look easy. This vote, you see them trying to react, but he's just making the most out of the combo. Sawo. We still haven't seen a big known Fury from him, but oh. he's going to get stunned oh. up. Sorry, I'm Felix. Bang. Gonna get the last hit. Usei does get knocked up, but it's only enough to buy time for the side of Deuce Vault. No way, no way, no way. Carvey, gonna be able to melt down the Lord. See you soon, look for something. Look at Boxy the King, man. Oh. He's always looking for the shot. More minions coming. Deuce Vault will be able to clear these waves. Yeah, yeah they're still 
hold on to it. Oh, oh the okay. They go down here, getting slowed down. Oh, 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 Sunset Lover picks up another one. But Kid Bomba's gonna get stunned by the bravest fighter, terrified by Hurrah, but they're able to get away. Man, that's big punish there by Deus Volt. A little bit too eager to break down the tower, and he wasn't able to take it, Magister. Nice knock up. Every, he can't even go in right now. Yeah. He goes in, he has to stand still for a second. Kusei just melts him down. Yeah. So difficult right now for Deus Volt. And at this point, he's getting, they need to find the one one alongside everyone else. But again, you have to talk about the layering of abilities. You have to make sure needles and flowers has been used by the one one first. Once that class is gone, that's when you can go in. Try to make a play to burst her down. <sighs> Easier said than done, yeah. honestly, for Day as well. Seems sooner just playing really well around the one one. And hey, we gotta commend Kuse. He's been playing really well individually. Yeah, the hard part too is the fact that, you know, really. You have a Minotaur, but you really haven't been able to set those things up yet, right? And even when you get close and you're trying to get a position, so I was trying to be there, he gets, he gets to half health before he even gets in position. You know, that's, mm. again, that's the course of the game when you had that lead for CEO soon, and they were able to build up really quickly. So if you're Deus Vault, you want to buy some more time. Maybe you get to a point, again, another five minutes or so, you should be able to contest this and be comfortable contesting this Lord and not giving it up to CEO soon, but really, if Boxy has been on point, you have to be able to protect Carvey especially, right? The pressure is going to be there. And then once again, the answer starts to get to the point. All right, how do we play around the crossbow of Tang? If it's popped up, that's why you see right now, too. The Winter Tron should be at the big oh. is going to get the knock up on Asari on Felix. But the crossbow of Tang's ready to unload once again. Madison going to go down. Who's able to pick up the kill? Sawo finally getting the four-man knock up. Felix in the midst of the ball. Sawo trying to get away, but he can't. Sorry, Felix picks up the kill. And now Kid Bomba will fall next. Felix with the double, Sunset Lover all alone once again. Bad. Who's gonna go down a triple kill for Kusei? Looks like, oh Whoa, man, oh, flexing oh. on him. The flex coming through. It looks like they're just gonna go ahead and run it down yeah. mid. See you soon. I don't think there's gonna be a defense for this one. Everyone in the grave, see you soon. Showing who's the better team right now and take game number two. This one was a little bit closer, but see you soon. Comes out swinging once again. Ends the game under 15. Uh, Counterplay again is what Deus Volt wanted while see you soon are still continuing to set the tempo. There needs to be some big changes in Deus Volt because right now see you soon have changed for the better. More aggressive, more free flowing, and it looks like they're having a whole lot of fun right now. Match point. One win away from moving forward. What can they do now? It's going to be a long road ahead of them if they even want to try to reverse sweep this. Deus Vault have a lot to think about. Well, let's see what our analysts have to think about this game once again for see you soon. Gentlemen, take it away. Some signs of life from Deus Vault in that series as they clap back in the mid game. But just as quickly, see you soon, regain hold of this game in this series as they go into match point 2-0. to zero. It's just crazy to see that CYS was able to snowball all the way with, I would say, their MPLI draft and strategy. This is the see you soon that I was looking forward to see at M5, but unfortunately, in the group stages and even in the first few matches of the knockout stages, we weren't able to see the super ultra aggressive CYS. You're going from good to great. And so far, they're looking better than great because they are now just one game away from moving on through the lower bracket. And it's with no short effort. From our MVP here in game number two, it's your boy Kusei ending the series, rather the game. Well, one more for the series in a flashy way with that 1-1. One, one. His one death is where he took his most damage. Like just clean up straight his life bar, one death, and then that was it. From there, he was just always in the skies. Great, great itemization, great plays made across the map. And obviously, again, the Master Assassin that's just... At this point, Kusei always goes for Master Assassin. He loves winning in that lane individually, one by one v one. Especially in this game, that's how the snowball really started, right? The fact that Kusei was able to win so hard in that lane. Take a look at this. He's level four. Carvey's still level three, and that's it. Carvey's not able to do much here. He has to go and get 
some farmer up top, if he joins this fight, he's kind of like, kind of useless compared to that level 4 one one. That's right. Again, our points from uh, game one is Deus Vult need to figure out how to solve this issue, right? The fact that Seuson are so aggressive, they can't go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, again, you can't put Carvey on these emblem sets wherein you're expecting to win against Crusade because Seuson are already a step ahead. And again, there was a Lord here that clearly should have belonged to Deus Vu, but Seuson just kicked him out. Seuson just said, you know what? We have enough damage. Our collapse is better because of how far ahead we are. Uh, again, just where the gold is and how that matters. And already, again, just as soon as you thought they had it under control, see you soon, just puts it up back to 11. And it's just really strange to see Deus Volt play in a very one-dimensional kind of playstyle, right? You expect Deus Volt with the draft that they have, being so dynamic, having a lot of secondary carries, having a lot of plan Bs, even in the laning phase. Sure, you want to play for the Bruno, you want to get him snowballed, but if it doesn't work, play the Kid Bomba. He was winning his lane up until he was ganked by two and more members, and that's what shifted the tides again. So, in the end, what Deus Volt got from their early game commitment through the gold lane was a losing gold lane, a losing XP lane, and then no more playmakers to help Magister around the neutral objective. In a simpler way, again, the story of Deus Volt from game one and two is they seem to always be just clogging up holes in a sinking ship. The way Siu Soon keeps attacking from different angles allows for them to push forward, push forward. Deus Volt, it's always two steps forward, maybe a step and a half back. And that allows for them to always be just slightly behind and have somewhat of a comeback for Seuss to just grab it from out underneath them. Again, the aforementioned emblem set for Carvey. Alongside, again, this is respectable. The fact that he picked a Purify means that he knows Seuss is going to get him. But also for the side of CY soon, right? I mean, just looking at the way that MP the King decided to go for the emblems, it's amazing. He knows he's going to go ahead, get ahead in this game. He knows that with the composition that they've drafted for themselves, it will facilitate a lot of the early game neutral objective, or early game pickoffs as well. Bottom lane, whatever lane he ganks, there's supplementary enough amount of CC for him to just dish out damage. And that's where the thrill, plus the Hunter Strike super early, basically sealed the deal for CY soon. And I can only imagine, again, Deus Vu, Kid Bomba, again, he's just one of the few key reasons as to how this team holds on for an extra two or three minutes, right? Just straight up juggled into a winner trunch just to try and stay for maybe two more seconds and then survive via the BOS. Yes, it'll get you far, but the fact that you did not get to build up a little bit more damage to finish up and get maybe a little bit more spell vamp means he was just going to go down just as quickly. Again, 155. They say EXP laners don't really count for KDA, but he was just dying way too quickly, way too soon, way too often. And I gotta give props to Sunset Lover, man. The amount of consistency this man has in this game. Last game, he only died once, I believe, and now 5, 2, and 4, despite the team losing out so hard in a lot of these skirmishes, a lot of the team fights, the fact that Sunset Lover again was able to get a back-to-back -back carry from a losing side is phenomenal, man. He really gave a lot of problems to S well, US. Yep, uh, despite see you soon barreling forward, maybe 3,000, 4,000 for a majority of this game until it, you know, hit a critical mass. Sunset Lover was actually very close to Ra in net worth, right? Uh, his item build was respectable. They had to send two or three bodies to actually make sure that this Lilia died. So again, even in as early as a day as M3, under uh, their former team, Navi, Sunset Lover has already had my respect. So now they got to dig deep, man. They got to go into their veteran wilds and lead the rest of this younger squad into, what, a reverse sweep? And it's strange. It's really strange here, Leo. The fact that, yeah, they need to try to lead this team, but it feels like with the way that they're playing anyways, right? They're going to the gold lane. Carvey's not dealing enough damage. Kusei and Ra, it's the same story as game number one. They have secondary carries. They have a lot of plan Bs, but they only look at one. Once the Bruno fails in the lane, once the Bruno isn't able to dish out damage in these team fights, it's done. Because Sunset Lover will become the only, the sole damage dealer for the team. And that's not what you need. That's what... That's, they can't rely on that, right? Knowing that Siu Soon have so much maneuverability, they have so many ways to get out of the glooms, the choke points. This Lilia is, even though we did that much damage, unreliable as a main source of damage. So again, if you go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Siu Soon, it's clear that just the plan will not work. 
Is it time? Is it time for Deus Volt to actually bring out the cheese? Does Coach Fly Solo have anything left in the tank? Because it's now or never. This is where you bring it out, game three. It's all in or nothing, right? For Deus Volt, the fact that, again, they've already had, I would say, not bad drafts for game number two. I actually kind of like their drafts. They need to be able to understand how to execute their game plan a bit better. 